Welcome to projectbuzzer.com Topic is a group incremental approach to feature selection applying a reverse technique. Let's move on to abstract. Many real-time data increases dynamic lenses. This phenomena occur in several fields including economics, population studies and medical research. As we need effective and efficient mechanism to deal with such data, incremental technique has been proposed in this lecture and attracted much attention, which stimulates the results in this paper. When the group of objects is added to decision table, we first introduce a group incremental mechanism for the representative information entropies and then develop a group incremental RF feature selection algorithm based on information entropy. When group of objects are added to the decision table, algorithm aims to find the new feature subsets in much shorter time. For example, if data generates one by one, at the time the incremental mechanism is effective, but if thousand data are generated at the time, Incremental mechanism is ineffective. In this case, group incremental mechanism is effective. Let's move on to flow diagram. First step is to load the data set. Next step is pre-processing. In pre-processing, data cleaning and misvalue replacement take place. After pre-processing, you need to classify the decision column. Based on the decision column, upper and lower bound value is computed. With the value of lower and upper bound value, entry value is completed. Here, heuristic reduction algorithm is used to find the ent entropy value. Based on entropy value, checking each attributes to find the reduct. To find the reduct, group incremental approaches is used. Next step is to find the effectiveness and efficiency of the table. Let me explore how to run this project. First, we have to load needed database, packages, and jar files. Then, now I'm going to run this project. First frame is included with the title next we have to load the database first we have to pre-process the data set which we are going to use for pre-processing I am using Vega tool and this is a home page of Vega tool click on explorer and open the data set which we have to use in this project Tic Tac Toe. This is a data set I am going to use. In this data set, there are 10 attributes, including class attribute. Just I am going to filter these attributes. Just I choose all attributes and I click apply. The status is OK now. Then we ha I have to save this data set. Save. Yes. The Vega tool process is over. Now I'm going to browse the data set. Data set choose, choose it successfully. Now I have to insert data set into database inserting data set is starter click ok data set is added to database successfully while clicking on this attribute button it displays how much attributes in this data set there are 10 attributes in this data set as we early seen then I am going to view this this is exactly right. Let's move on to next frame by clicking proceed. In this frame, just we are going to view the data set in the form of table. In this data set contains 9 finite records. Let's you see column list. Then click on view to view the database and click on procedure to move to next frame first we have to dis 
choose the condition column to find upper and lower value this is a decision column which goes on up to 959 and we count what are the records present here in the in the decision column there are two records positive and negative in positive there are six two six records in negative three three two records there are two type of classes in decision column which is positive and negative and now we are going to compute the upper and lower bound value just we found that upper and lower boundary value here then click on proceed while click on proceed in this table the two tables are there which one is positive and one is negative and click on entropy value this is a entropy value and then based on this entropy value we have to check each attribute to find the entropy value to find the depth in first attribute there are three type of records x o and b here x is higher higher number of values that is 417 like this we have to found for each and each and every attributes click on proceed there are totally nine nine attributes in previous frame there is four and in this frame there is five totally nine and class class attribute totally ten attributes now after finding the attributes now we are going to compute the reduct based on this entropy value here first attribute third fifth seventh and ninth attributes are reduct after finding the reduct just i am showing in this table based on positive and negative values and then click on proceed to find the effectiveness and efficiency of table just click on compute it will show the values then i am go looking for a graph by clicking on graph it shows computational computational time for data this is a graph for computational time this is a running procedure 